Hello everyone. Let's solve this um, problem very quickly. We have 5 e to the power of 3 equal to 1 over 25. Okay, so what is the first step I'm going to take? Divide both sides by 5. And then I'll divide this by 5. This can cancel this. Then I have e to the power of 3 to be equal to 1 over 25 multiplied by 1 over 5. Remember, when I turn this to multiplication, I have to take the inverse of 5 there, or the reciprocal of 5. So e to the power of 3 is now equal to 1 all over 25 times 25, and it is... um. 125. Now, what do I do to get the value of e? Remember, our e here to the power of 3 is the same thing as 125 to the power of negative 1. That is to eliminate the fraction here. Then, the next thing I'm going to do is to you know express this in index form so i have e to the power of three to be equal to here now i'm going to have um five to the power of um three but remember that this is still to the power of negative one now what do i do i have to turn this around so i have e to the power of 3 to be equal to 5 to the power of negative 1 then to the power of 3 okay so this is what I've done because if you have e to the power of m then to the power of n this can be rearranged so that you have a to the power of n then to the power of m and that's the same thing I've done as I took 3 outside and then brought minus one inside so from here now we have the same powers and then the law also says that if you have x okay to the power of um, m to be equal to y to the power of m this means that x is equal to y because the powers are the same right and now because of that since I have power 3 here and I have power of 3 here, I can conclude that e is equal to 5 to the power of negative 1. Because this is the power I'm considering since they are the same. I'm considering the 3 and this 3. So this should be equal to this. Now, if we continue with this, it means that e will be equal to 1 over 5. Because according to the law of indices, these two are the same. Thank you for watching. And um, you can just check to know whether you're right or wrong. Remember, we have e to the power, okay, 5e to the power of 3 to be equal to 1 over 25, right? Yes, and our e now is 1 over 5. So this is going to be 5 multiply by 1 over 5 to the power of 3. Now, let me keep working this until I have 1 over 25. Okay, so now, this is the same thing as 5 into brackets. 1 over 5 in 3 places will give us 1 over 125. Because 5 to the power 3 is 5 times 5 times 5, and that will give us this. Now, 5 will go into itself one time. 5 will go into this. We have 25. Therefore, this is giving us 1 over 25. Okay? So, we can now say that E is actually equal to 1 over 5. Thank you for watching.